following is a production of the College of Arts and Sciences at Eastern Kentucky University and has been made possible through an EBSCOR grant from the National Science Foundation. The research that I'm doing is, is very straightforward. We're simply taking temperature observations at two locations and comparing them and then trying to figure out why are they different from one another and ultimately trying to make them closer together. I'm Donald Yao. I'm a professor in the Department of Geosciences at Eastern Kentucky University. It's a phenomenon called the urban heat island effect. The urban heat island effect is simply urban areas being artificially warmer than surrounding rural areas. The reason this happens is largely because the building materials we use in cities, such as concrete, asphalt, brick, etc., tend to absorb lots of heat during the daytime, slowly release that heat into the surrounding environment throughout the evening, and that keeps the local environment artificially warm. Station, just standing out here in the parking lot, and use this thermal gun to take a temperature reading right here of the, of the parking lot that's in the sun, and I'm getting a temperature around 67 degrees. I use the same gun and I put it in the shade and now I'm getting temperatures of around 54 degrees. The larger the city, the more warm it stays compared to its rural surroundings. Here in Richmond, we've got a population of only around 30,000 people. So in a relatively small town, a lot of people would probably logically think that we wouldn't have a very intense heat island. But when I started gathering my data, I quickly discovered that something unique is going on here, that I was seeing differences in temperature from downtown to outside of town that were in some occasions 10, 15 degrees or more difference. And these were simultaneous temperatures. So what I did was put up a more sophisticated weather station on campus and the Kentucky Mesonet established a station out at EKU's Meadowbrook Farm just eight miles away. Those two stations served as my urban and rural comparisons. Now what I'm doing is just comparing simultaneous temperature observations between the two to quantify this urban heat island intensity. Here on campus we've got roughly 15 to 16,000 students. So we've got a unique situation of having a population that, that changes dramatically seasonally when students are here when they're not. But it's just the fact that this is a small town and not many small towns have been studied makes this study a little bit unique. The single largest factor is actually our very large parking areas that we have. EKU has expansive parking areas to accommodate its faculty, staff, and students. If you look around, what you see a lot of are these huge parking areas. These large parking areas could be modified to actually mitigate the warm season heat island and maintain that, that beneficial warmth during the cold season. There's several ways to do this. What I suggest is putting in some strategically placed deciduous trees. These trees will be leaf on during the warm season and shade the parking areas. Now in the winter time, these trees are going to lose their leaves. Therefore, the sunlight's gonna be free to come on in, warm up the pavement, and help us out when we're trying to remove snow or ice whenever that does happen around here. So it's the best of both worlds, mitigating the warm season heat island, which has negative impacts, while maintaining the positive aspects of the cold season heat island. Richmond has grown, EKU campus has grown, and as a result of all these changing land uses, Undoubtedly, the urban heat island effect has grown in intensity as well. After conducting this research here on EKU's campus for several years now, I've got a very good handle on heat island intensities, how the heat island varies seasonally uh, between day and night, how it varies, how weather impacts it. What's left to do at this point is to actually start using these strategies I've developed, putting these strategically placed tree islands in our parking lots here on campus. Once we do that, the benefits will start occurring. 